Here we are. We're in the uh, Grand Hotel in Brighton today. Just, the most important thing and the hardest thing is just to, to not play, obviously, this or that. Yeah. Unless you're doing the that. Yeah. The, yeah, that's it. The only time you play that. Okay, Do you mind me prompting you a little bit? There he is, there's Nathan King, the legend himself. <laughs> Say hello to all of my YouTube, um, to my, my nearly 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Yeah, I was hoping to get 1,000 before New Year, which might, could still possibly happen, but I kind of somehow doubt it's going to happen now. Well, yeah, hopefully, one last push. Anyway, that was, uh, that was Nathan. Some of you might recognise him as the guitarist from Level 42. He's played with a bunch of other people that you probably have heard of as well. But anyway, that's not the focus of the video today. We're going to look at... Uh, I've done this before, but I'm going to do it again. My setup. So it was New Year's, New Year's Eve now. So here we go. Start with guitars. Uh, there's my, my uh, exotic XSC2, the one I use on probably most gigs. But I've been changing it up a bit over the summer, as you probably would have seen in the last one. This guitar is the one that you probably would have seen before and I kind of use it as backup and also for the uh, acoustic uh, sounds. I've done a video on that, on getting good acoustic sounds with like a piezo loaded guitar. So check that out if you want to. Next we have, there's a set list, covers gig tonight. Uh, we have the Helix, which is what my channel is mainly based on at the moment because people seem to like that content. So as you can see, I've been using the JCM 800 uh, patch today, mainly. It will be changing depending what song. And I've added this, you haven't seen this before. I used to have some of these, well all of these three items on a bigger pedal board. Let me try and not get in the way of the light. So I had these on a, on, a, on a huge pedal board and it got a bit too big, which, kind of, which was a bit annoying. So I decided to put it on a smaller pedal board and just carry it separately, connected by this nice long patch cable there. So there is the Line 6 G uh, Relay P10S power supply. I, I can't remember to pronounce that. The Lella um, Looper switch. I use that to kind of switch between the two guitars over there. If I'm, if I'm using the uh, kind of electric sound out of both of them. So that'll switch between the two. The green one I've got is for the uh, exotic and it goes red and I switch it over to the Petrucci, to the Music Man. Classic uh, GE7 equaliser, which I'm in two minds about. It, the pedal itself is great, but using it in the context here. So what, the reason I've got, I've got this on here is because the exotic is not as loud as the Music Man. Or I should say the Music Man's louder than, than the exotic. So I try and use that to kind of compensate for the volume difference. But it doesn't quite work as well. It kind of affects the tone a bit because I think because it's going in the front as opposed to at the end. So I could get around that, but I'm just going to kind of deal with it as and when. I've just left it on there in case I wanted to use it. Oh, by the way, on the uh, Music Man, I have this stereo cable which I had made up years ago. It's starting to kind of split a little bit, as you can see there. That's, those two leads are the same cable, but it's kind of split. You can see where the split is there. Still works though, but it's to uh, switch between the um, piezo and the magnetic coil, all both at the same time. Right, so from the Helix, following the blue cable, and we've seen this before, into move my legs out of the way, into the Line 6 power cab. So I use this on stage. I don't necessarily have it that loud. I mean, usually on stage, I just now I had it about 11 o'clock. Let's focus. But usually on stage, I'll turn up to about there. And it's a lot louder, but I can't really hear it. And that's not really the point. It's, it's so that people in the front row here and anyone kind of in this line, kind of area here can hear my guitar tone coming from the amp as you would in the old days before we went all digital. Let's turn it back down again for a moment. 
Uh, yeah, capo, a couple of picks. There's my in-ear monitors. I should be doing a video on that. Um, extra bits. I've got my, let's turn this on, my iPad here. Where is the on button? Here is our in-ear mix. So what I use to um, adjust my in-ears. So I used to have that attached to my mic stand. But I don't like from the look of it from the front where everything's kind of like blocking the view of you and the stage so I've, if I can I'll put it back here on or behind me basically on the keyboard players mic stand sometimes I'll stick it on top of the, uh, the amp because I don't we got our sound pretty good now I don't necessarily have to adjust that much anymore there's a bit here and there but if I do want to adjust I'll be playing here I'll just turn around make a couple of adjustments as, as necessary there's my guitar and done and back to performing. Here's an old friend you've seen from the previous video. Say hello, Raphael. Hello, how are you doing? Yes, our sound engineer and my, my uh, emergency guitar backup <laughs> in case I get sick again. Yep. And did you have any, any problems? Yes, two on the guitar. So actually, I just was trying to, to see it and I wasn't able to find any button. It's like right in tune. Oh, for a tuner, you're looking for a tuner. For tuning, yeah. Yeah. If you want to tune, you just need to hold for a, a top. I'll go, why don't you demonstrate how to tune? But hey, and there's hey. a tuner. Nothing's going in at the moment, but yes. Yeah, of course. There we go. Raphael knows. Really easy. Paul, I don't know if you want to say hello to my 900 and something YouTube subscribers. Hello. I'm just here with the. Uh, Pioneer setup, pretty straightforward, but most importantly, Ooh, I've got the, one, the one black glove on. <laughs> Ultimately, as OJ well, Simpson got the other one, then the most uncomfortable flight case handle I think I've ever come across. So I have Can to I go, could, yeah, grab it. So I have to go with the one black glove, but I could bring it as part of a sort of performance trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so my, my old pedalboard case was something like that. And it was, as Paul said, it was a pain in the arse to carry. So that's why I've gone for this more simplified setup here. It's, a little, it's not all as all in one as I usually like, but it is a bit easier. And if I can, I usually have the secondary board off to the side a little bit. Um, if I'm just going straight into the Helix, then great, I'll just go straight in. But if I want a wireless, I'll, I still have to power this. So just getting powered by, actually, getting powered by the individual well, true tone now I guess uh, one spot and FYI here is the keyboard setup that our keyboard player Steve Turner is using maybe I should get him to talk about how he's got his stuff set up our drummer Roxy Harris here's his very colourful um, very well lit drum kit so the lights are kind of getting in the way a little bit very nice so on stage that looks great so, so, so let's remember that as well as learning songs and being able to play stage presence and the way things look also kind of makes a difference as well it's it's a tough pill to swallow sometimes but it does make a difference so a lot of the time you're in the background though so it's not too bad but this kind of stuff really kind of helps and Nathan has got his uh, custom made sire bass with the uh, tuner the uh, what do you call it the polytune clip fantastic tuner as I'm sure you all know yeah, custom sire bass. I'm sure you know what sire, sire guitars with his 24 frets and a couple of other things that he wanted. And obviously, we, here we have the well, not obviously, but the TC electronic. I don't know what this is actually, I've never seen, I've never had to think about it before. But yeah, the RH750 and, and cab. And yes, Nathan does sometimes use a couple of picks. Here's a tip bring lots of water to your own gig. Never rely on the venue or anyone else that can provide you water. Our band's pretty good where Steve and our singer, he's over there working away, always brings loads of water for us and for himself, which is really great. It's really good, good thing to have, especially in the summer when it gets really hot and you get really tired. It's always good to bring some water. Even if you bring it for yourself, bring some water. That's, that's the, the top tip for today's video. I'm hoping this background music doesn't demonetize my video. All right, from the Grand Hotel, I think we're good. Hopefully I'm in shot, hopefully I'm well lit. Here we are on the stage, Happy New Year, and more videos and stuff in 2022. Have a good new year.
Take care. I guess it's a Oh, really? I'm in my room now, so let's check it out. And then here's the bedroom. No sea view, unfortunately. In fact, what is the view here? Is it a brick wall? What have we got? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Probably another room across there that's probably why they've blocked it out but I'm probably not gonna be in here that much over the next 24 hours anyway hello TV desk coffee machine which I'm not sure if they provide you any pods or not no pods no kettle actually where's the kettle you want a kettle all right there's a kettle there we go okay oh there's some pods there as well I think they shall be used and the fridge oh yes please we're ready to go here some generic non-brand coffee let's do this there she goes there she goes again we need a bit more let's go small go on fill it up Give me more coffee. That's more like it. Although I hope you're going to stop sometime soon because that's getting really full now. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to stop you. Don't come up. <laughs> okay, I might have um, been a little bit overzealous with that one. I think I'm one of the very few people who likes UHT milk. Ah, oh, there we go. Managed to claw that back from the jaws of defeat. There we go. We've got a biscuit there. That was for some cleaning purposes. And yes, let's enjoy this. You don't need to see this. So it's the following morning, uh, sat for a walk here on Brighton Beach before I head back to London. Gig last night was really good, really good performance, really good crowd. When you've got a good crowd, good energy, 
it really makes the band play better as well. So that was really good. I'm usually in Dubai for New Year's, but obviously because of COVID, we're not doing that this year. But I'll take I'll take Brighton. Brighton is all cool. Yeah. And that's the hotel we were staying at, I think. Yes, the Grand Hotel. Famously where Margaret Thatcher was almost assassinated. Anyway, Happy New Year to everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.